Hello everyone, Scotty Collier, West Ham Fan TV, back again with your big match preview. Backed for the season by Ladbrooks. New customers, click the link in the description below to receive £20 worth of free bets for your first £5 bet. All the terms and conditions and other details are over at ladbrooks.com. Straight in with the football, West Ham versus Cheltenham, well West Ham away to Cheltenham, sorry, in the second round of the League Cup. Um, you know, a fixture that we need to take seriously, you know. Very disappointing not to get back in, uh, not to get the draw that we probably deserved um, against Southampton. A lose it way we lose, lost it, you know, wasn't great. You know, penalty right at the end, it's always a sucker punch. You know, we've done all the hard work getting back into the game from 2 all down with 10 men. But, you know, it just wasn't a B. You know, as I said, getting beat by Man United, we needed to bounce back. The sending off didn't help, but we, you know, we got better as the game went on. And when we went down to 10 men, we showed a lot of true grit and spirit to get back into the game and not just wilt away as we have done in other fixtures. So, you know, there's a lot of positives to take out of that performance against Southampton. So we need to bring them into this Cheltenham game. Cheltenham have only won two games all season, uh, one in the league and one in the last round of the League Cup. I think that they came from behind to win it in extra time against Oxford. So they're not at the best of form at the moment, and maybe they're looking at the league, um, you know, to sort sort of boost themselves up. I know we're rock bottom, but I think they're fifth from bottom. So for both teams, this could be a big, big confidence boost. But I just think it's more important for us to make sure we go out there and perform well and get the victory. Billich has already come out and said he's going to put a strong side out, which is really, really good. You know, we want we need to take these um, games seriously. Cup finals is what every fan wants to go and see. You know, it's, it's a day out for the fans. You can't put finishing 10th or 11th in the Premier League in the trophy cabinet, but you can put a League Cup or an FA Cup in there. So we've got to try and take this one seriously. Um, the two sides, they've met once before, and that was also in the League Cup. Um, 2013, we run out 2-1 winners with goals from Ricardo Vazte and Ravel Morrison. You know, so there's not much more history with the two sides. Um, as I said, Cheltenham's form this season isn't great. They've won two out of seven, I do believe, or maybe six. So, you know, they're, they're not looking too clever at the moment. Obviously, we haven't won a game, but we're only two games into the season. So this could be a bit of a turning point for us. Um, Injury-wise, obviously, we lost Winston Reid um, in the warm-up on uh, Saturday. So that's a big, big blow. I think that showed um, at the back in that Southampton game, the way we conceded a couple of goals. So he is going to be a big, big loss. Um, on the plus side, Lanzini, Cecu Chiate and uh, Andy Carroll are all back in training and all look to be fit for Newcastle. I don't think they'll be risking it against Cheltenham. I think we'll see a few other players get game time, but I definitely can't see them three players being risked. Maybe a couple of them might be on a bench just in case things don't go right and they need to get on near the end to try and change the game. But hopefully, you know, that won't happen. Um, obviously, the other player missing was that... <laughs> Madman and out of it after that terrible, terrible red card. I do believe he's suspended for three games. I don't think it's been increased by any other, but I'll have to check on that one. As I said, you know, a moment of madness. He has apologised, but, you know, you, you can't be doing that on a football pitch these days. If you if the referee don't catch you out, then you're going to get caught out by the cameras. So, you know, it was a very, very silly mistake by him. But, you know, once he's back, he can make it up to us, you know. Propel us up that league. That's what we want to see from him. Um, starting 11, it's, it's going to be a tough one. As I said, Bilic wants to take it seriously. He's going to put a strong squad out. But this could be a game to get a few people who ain't had no game time a run out. I do see Adrian coming in goal for Joe Art. You know, last season, I think we done that. We kept swapping the keepers around in the season before. So I do see him coming in there. It'd be good to have him back in the sticks, get a bit of game time for him. Um, Sam Byram hasn't had a start yet this season. I can see him coming in at right back. James Collins, another one not to have a start this season, so I'll see him coming in the centre half. Partnering could be interesting. Um, will they give Declan Rice, you know, will they trust him? He, he started against um, Southampton, coming against Southampton, playing holding midfield. But will he be trusted at centre back? I'd like to see it, you know, sort of like the experience head of James Collins, you know, that tough, rugged defender, and the skill and quality and the youngster and the enthusiasm of Declan Rice. Could be a good little centre-back pairing. But, you know, or maybe you'll stick with him in the old midfield. It's a tough one. 
But I'd like to see Rice start, but I do think it's going to be Jose Font continuing. He's got a lot to make up for after that dreadful performance against Southampton. So I think he'll start there. Uh, left back, I see it'll be uh, Masawaku, I do believe. Yeah, I think Creswell will probably start against Newcastle, so Masawaku will get a run out in this one. Um, holding midfield, Obiang was sub against Southampton. I can see him coming in. As I said, if Rice doesn't go at the back, he'll go in the holding midfield right alongside Obiang. Um, Mark Noble, I think, will drop out and be rested for this one. This is where it gets interesting. As much as he wants to um, you know, take this competition seriously, and we all want him to, giving you for run out in these games you know, can be can be quite good. Obviously, the under-23s played on Monday night and come back to beat Tottenham 3-2. The only two players that were missing from that squad um, that I know of, obviously, was Declan Rice, uh, Quinner and Seed. Uh, I don't know his surname, so I'm not even going to pronounce it, so we'll just call him Seed for now. You know, he's one of our new signings. So I've got a feeling Quinner might start on the left. We may see um, Seed start on the right. If not, I think he will be on the bench. I think Fernandez will get a run out playing behind the, the lone striker. I think Ayu will play because I can see him dropping out of the side on Saturday. And I think Diafro Sacco will get a start up top. So, you know, it's still a strong attacking full. So I'd like to see Quinner. Lots and lots of great reviews about him. So I think it'd be really good to get a game under his belt. I think, as I said, we'll probably see Lanzini and probably Andy Carroll make the sub bench if they are that fit, just in case. I think Hernandez and Noble will also sit there and probably a couple of the youngsters. So there'll be experience on the bench if we need it to come on. But, you know, as I said, this is a game we need to take seriously. Um, scoring predictions. I, I only see a West Ham winning this one. I know we've gone out in cup games to lower league opposition many, many times. We've always struggled. But I've just got a feeling that, you know, a few people got a point to prove to the manager. Um, we're just going to go out there and we're going to dominate this game from start to finish and run out comfortable winners 3 0. Um, if thanks for your cheeky bet on that one, Labrooks will give you 17 to 2 for the 3 0 win. So head over there and have a um, cheeky one on that. But, you know, we've got many, many other things to look forward to this week. Um, obviously, we're going to have, um, I think there's going to be a post match review after the game. There won't be any fan cams because we're not there. Um, and then we've got all the stuff coming for the Newcastle game. I'll be back with uh, a preview. You know, Dan's Friday show, post-match pint should be up Saturday sometime. Fan cams, uh, midweek musing should be out. We may get an on the social this week. I'm not sure because of the logistics of everyone meeting up. So plenty of plenty of contact content coming from us. You can now follow us on Volley, which is a the new football social media app. It's a bit like Twitter and Instagram combined. Search for us on there at West Ham Fan TV and we'll come up. Don't forget to uh, follow us on Twitter, which is at West Ham Fan TV, Facebook.com West Ham Fan TV. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, you know, you've only got to click down below and make sure you click that bell so you get notifications every time a video goes up. Um, thank you very much for watching the preview. As I said, I'll be back for the Newcastle game. One thing left to say, come on your irons.